You're starting this one. It's your f***ing idea. Okay, so this is an episode about Shandy. We're talking Shandies, we're talking Rattlers. Yeah. These in Germany are not looked down upon. A Rattler is basically a sports drink. Uh, in the UK, they're seen like Foster's Top is like yeah. the standard order. But I want to just smash that because when we think of a Shandy, we think of like lemonade in lager. Mm. But it doesn't have to be a lemonade lager. Yeah. So we have picked out four amazing ways of making shandy. What I need to make clear is that Brad picked the first two and I picked the second. Yeah, that I've might gone, become clear. I've gone for, you're like, I mean, they put how much it costs on the can. These are not artisanal brews. What? 65p, 60p. <laughs> These are South London homelands. This is Hackney, Brad, Trendyville. Brad, come on, stop justifying. Where are we starting? We are going to start with a ting. We're going to start with a ting. So, you may have heard of Schufferhofer, who Schufa make Hoover. their delicious Rattler. They do. Uh, with grapefruit juice. Yes, that is, that's a legit that's way, isn't it? Grapefruit thing. juice and now, like soda. As far as I'm concerned, if you're trying out a Shanley, it's a third of non-alcoholic to two thirds of beer. Yes. So, Brad, if you want to measure yourself out, your beer, I'll do my non-alcoholic. Oh, so I'm starting with the beer. So you need two thirds of that. Yeah. It, is it like a tea? Does it matter no, no, no. which way you pour it? No, no, no. Is it like milk it'll where it's, it'll spoil it? It's not like cream okay. on scones. This is foamy. It should be, it's got a vice beer in it. So this is Paulana vice beer, best and vice beer uh, in the whole of Germany. I would just like to say, controversially, ting with an Erdinger makes an Ertinger and uh, you know I'm hoping this will make a better bit I, all I'm getting is grapefruit from that and you're saying that that's like a bad thing that was on your nose bad <laughs> come on f***ing delicious you can't you cannot mess with that no I mean you messed to get that but you can't mess with it once this it's this is a cheeky but... delicious beverage <laughs> that's stupid good. How I don't know what percentage this is. I don't. It doesn't well, matter. So that's five point five. We put is, them together. This is diabetes. I don't know where that registers. Um, so good. It's zesty fruit fizz. Ting. It's it's, it's <laughs> ting. Onwards, Johnny. Number two. So this is one of my suggestions. So we're using a completely artisan, locally made. I mean, lemonade. Like, yeah. Uh, from Square Root London, from Hackney. I like a sort of Jif lemon when I like my lemon. I like Look, it this extreme. stuff is properly lemony and properly tart. Come which on. is what I wanted. Brilliant. So, so when I picked this particular lemonade, I wanted to pick a beer that also had a little bit of them. So you have Augustina Hellas, which is a brilliant lager. Yes. And then you have the Oberstoff, which is a bit stronger. So I wanted a little bit more. So you've gone for the it's Abelstaff. also very clean. It's so almost cleaner than the Are you defeating the, the point of a, a Rattler or a, a Shandy and you've gone for a stronger beer? Right, right, okay. So this is 5.5. Okay, so we're, That's we're okay. zero alcohol. So we're, we're back at the same place that your f***ing yeah, yeah, yeah. vice beer <laughs> ting was. Don't give me that. Hey, come on, you love the vice beer ting. No, that's, that's lemony. Oh my god. This is, it smells like lemon sherbet. That smells incredible. All right, I take it back. Yeah, we could be onto a win here. <laughs> it does smell really fresh. Oh wow, it's um, it's like pancake day, baby. Sugar and lemon. Sugar and lemon, man. With a little bit of, of That's it. flour, sugary right, so uh, yeah. flour, uh, like carby. straight on pancake day. But you know, pancake day is like my favourite day of the year, pretty much. I think today's your favourite day of the year. You just put ting and. Little Tom the Craft Beer Uh No, that is also rather wonderful. It's sweet. It's a little bit tart. It's got a bit of breadiness from the from the lager. It's really good. We're back with the Lil, which for me is like your sort of Coca Cola or Heinz beans of the um, the sort of pineapple and grapefruit world. I can't believe you're looking down on a Lil after Ting. <laughs> to be honest, you're spoiling me with the saison du Rocher du Pont. <laughs> So what I'm hoping is the dry, but also that estery sweetness from the Saison Dupont. Yes. 
is going to work really, really well with the really tangy, really art lilt. artificial um, tropical flavours of lilt. <laughs> that smells really good. I'm killing myself with these combinations. That's not bad, eh? For me, not as good as the ting. For me, that's better. Really? Yeah, I love Interesting. that. Interesting. It dries out li like all, like the two things you brought along are too sweet for me. And what I've done is dried them out. I got a sweet tooth. You do have a sweet tooth. That's true. I mean, we're in the Caribbean right now. Have a go on that. My pirate earrings are kicking in. I'm gonna get my tray for hat because I'm pirate captain. That needs a bit more faith on that. Um, or potentially some sort of white man dreadlocks. That combines like the dry, spicy, slightly phenolic, <laughs> estery, clovey, bananary thing with just all out assault of citrus. So, you crazy monkey, you. Yeah. You've gone for a, some kind of crazy darkness mm. with some ginger fire. And I'm not sure I like it. I mean, look, look how menacing that looks. See the magic. Look at that dark gold. So. I think that gingery, chocolatey, licorice-iness should be really good. Oh God, it smells like Christmas. <laughs> it really does. It smells like unky, unky Christmas. So it, 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 it smells like Christmas because it smells like baked gingerbread. Yeah. Because you get that mild reaction, you get that yeah, it's kind a of bit caramelized, burnt, gingery, jelly. wheaty, flowery thing, all caramelizing the oven, and that's what you get in that smell. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. I think so. Everything we've done so far has been a third non alcohol and then a two thirds. And two thirds alcohol. I think this one needs more non alcohol. I think this should be two thirds non alcohol, one third alcohol. Do it. Yeah, yeah it's, more, it's, it's more balanced for sure. That's great. I mean, that, that's a wintery. Winter Rattler. I think that is, you know, you're sitting around the fire on a, on a November or December evening. You know, it's got dark at about four. Um, As is its want. This thing here. Spicy. Spicy winter. Almost a bit like a uh, Star Anisi kind of um, dark. Yeah. Darkness, you know. Kind of amazing. This is beautiful. This is, uh, it's kind of about the love, but it's also about not taking beer too seriously. Yep. It's fun. You know, at the end of the day, we're experimenting. There's nothing wrong with this. No, and I think that blending stuff, we shouldn't be afraid of doing so. Uh, and I think that particularly these beers that are readily available, incredibly delicious, but also, uh, also quite strong, mostly. Uh, there's a lot of fun to be had by blending them and by playing with different ingredients. You don't you don't think an amazingly uh, uh, an amazing turnip and go well I'll just eat it on my own. You know you go well yeah. I'll put it with this or with this or with this. For real. Um, and that that's a very exciting prospect which I kind of forgot when you put ting and lilt in front of me. Um, I, I think the winner for me uh, was possibly the Paulana and Ting, which is why Schofferhofer came out with yeah, it. It's good. But and I do you know what? Just to balance it out, Johnny, yeah. this guy with uh, that guy, yeah. oh my god, it's pancake day. Like It's it's a world away from your, your Foster's top. It is insane. properly made lemonade insane. with a properly made lager and you end up with something really I'd put that against anything and like in, in German wise, incredible. In yeah. summer heat, oh my god. Yeah. So guys, if you have any amazing shandy ideas, do let us know. Stick the recipe in the comments below uh, and hopefully some guys will try it. Every time we put this stuff out, people do try it and it's amazing to see that, so please do. Um, if you have major issues with what we just did, also post that. Come and fight me. Brad will fight you and that's I won't cool fight you. Too. I'm actually a pacifist. Yeah.